Hi Cheryl here, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my January favourites. Um, I have never done favourites videos before and I kind of thought I wanted to start them and January is the perfect point for me to start doing favourites videos. So having said that, to save you from my usual ramble, I will just jump straight in. I have been trying the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and I love, 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 love this foundation. It just... I can't say enough good things about it. It is really mattifying on my skin. I don't have oily skin, but it can become oily if there's too much product on it. It has really long lasting wear. Um, the formula is really, really good and kind of gives you like a really radiant glow. It's really lightweight feeling. I just love it. I cannot say good enough good things. And then to top it all off, it has the most gorgeous like fruity smell. I just absolutely love it and I'm definitely going to be trying out more foundations from Bourjois in the future. Next is a product from Maybelline and it is the Instant Anti-Age The Eye Eraser Concealer. I love this stuff. Um, I only use concealer for dark circles. Um, I don't really suffer from blemishes or anything like that. I'm, I'm quite lucky with my skin. Um, and this, I feel, covers my dark circles absolutely brilliantly. It doesn't cake, it doesn't settle into fine lines, it kind of just smooths out the skin under your eyes and just covers those dark circles absolutely fantastically. I have got mine in the colour Nude. Um, the only downside of this concealer is, when I was looking in like Boots or Superdrug or whatever, there weren't a lot of darker colours, it was all really light colours, so I feel that in the summer when my skin goes darker and I got a bit of a tan on, um, I'm not going to be able to use this and I'm going to be absolutely gutted. But it is the only thing I have reached for all month um, as far as concealers are concerned, I just, I love it. Next is a product from Soap and Glory. Um, I mentioned it in a haul video at the beginning of January and it is the Make Yourself Youthful Rejuvenating Eye Cream. It has um, like micro particles in it to kind of help with dark circles. Um, for me, this is a product I have used for a really, really long time and I just cannot work out why I ever stopped using it. It's just amazing. It is really, really moisturising um, and luxurious feeling. It's pretty inexpensive as far as eye creams go. Um, it just, it, it's really hydrating under the eyes. It helps with dark circles um, so they don't show up as much. Um, I just, I love this eye cream and God knows why I ever stopped using it. And I think this will probably be an eye cream um, that I use for a very, very long time. Another favourite for January was the Eye Divines um, O Natural Palette from Sleek. I absolutely love this palette. I found myself reaching for it every single morning. It's kind of, it's not the only thing I've worn on my eyes, but I would say nine times out of ten, this bad boy has been what has been my shadow for the month. Did that make sense? Never mind. Um, I just love it because I like the formula. I find that they're really easy blending. Sleek are probably one of my favourite drugstore brands anyway. Um, but this palette in particular I love because there are so many matte shades in here. I think there's eight matte shades and four like satiny shimmery shades. And they're not like glitter shimmer, um, which I really don't like to wear. But definitely because of the like massive range in this palette of matte shades um it's just going to be a winner every time for me and i am a massive fan of neutrals but these are kind of like plummy neutrals you've got some nice greeny neutrals in there it's just it's just a really nice neutrals palette to own i feel next i'm going to be talking about this lip balm from elf i ordered a few things from elf and it was if you spend 15 pounds you get a free colour refresh bag which is worth £15. Um, so I thought, well, if I'm going to spend £15 and then get £15 worth of products free, then that's great. And this was one of the things in there and it's not normally something I would bother getting from e.l.f. but 
this is just been the thing that I put on my lips on the mornings when I'm just like I don't want too much colour or I really don't know what lipstick is going to go with my eyeshadow etc uh, it's just been a godsend I just love it I have mine in the colour rose and it just looks like that and as you can see it is a tinted lip balm and I just think that this lip balm not only is it like really really nourishing um, and just really hydrating on the lips um, it also has just fantastic colour payoff like it's just great um, and it's kind of got like a really nice pepperminty smell it's just a lovely lip balm and I'm so pleased that I got sent this in the um, elf colour refresh bag I'm definitely going to be ordering more of these one of the things I did order from e.l.f. was the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. This stuff is great. For the price that you pay, I think it's amazing. It cleans your brushes up really, really nicely, especially eyeshadow brushes. If you're like me, you don't wear the same eyeshadow look every single day. Um, and yeah, I just think it's great. It doesn't. It leaves a smell behind, but not like a horrible smell. I'm just like, oh my god, I don't want that brush near my face. Um, it's just great, easy. Um, to just keep your brushes clean and fresh in between like your like weekly wash or whatever it is you're going to do with your brushes yeah definitely will be repurchasing this repurchasing this when it runs out next i have a brush to show you it is the real techniques buffing brush absolutely love this brush um it hasn't I, I just I don't know why I haven't used this for my foundation before normally I stipple on and I really really like the finish you get with a stippling brush but I think I like the finish I get with this one more it just leaves you looking like really airbrushed it gets it like right into the skin it doesn't make your foundation look cakey um I just it just it's like gives you like buildable coverage you can go sheer you can go like full it's just a lovely brush to just really like work the foundation into your skin with but also give you like a really natural looking finish without people thinking like oh my god she's got loads of foundation on it's just it's lovely and I've tried to use this with BB creams as well and it buffs BB creams into your skin just like a dream I just love this brush Thank you so much, Sam and Nick, for the Real Techniques buffing brush. That's all I can say. Love it. Next, I'd like to talk about another product that I hauled during January, and that is the Rapid White 5 Minute Dissolving Teeth Whitening Strips. These bad boys are brilliant. They are so quick, easy, and simple to use. Um, all you do is you put the activator on your teeth, you put the strip across, leave it on for five minutes, and it instantly, I could instantly, after the first couple days, see the difference in my teeth. It removed the surface stains really, really well. And I whitened my teeth two weeks ago now um, with this, and I still have really, really good results. Um, it says up to four shades whiter um, in seven days and I definitely did get that. I was like a nine or a ten, my teeth were quite badly stained um, and now I'm a six slash five, like kind of in between the two. So I did get the results I was looking for. It's the only kind of whitening product that has kind of delivered the results I was expecting. So I can't say any more than that. Moving away from beauty, um, I have the Hunger Games trilogy here, the books, not films, obviously. Um, and I can honestly say that these took me about 10 days to read. They are spectacular books. They're just so well written. They are amazing. I was engrossed by them and I could not put them down until they were finished. And I'm actually really, really sad that I finished them. I'm just, I'm, I just miss Katniss Everdeen already. I just loved these books. They were they were great. And I just have one more favourite that I would like to mention for January, and that is the TV programme The Jump. It's kind of come on just before the Winter Olympics. It's celebrities um, that will be doing um, the nine um, 
alpine sports disciplines and I just think it's brilliant. I've really enjoyed watching it so far. I absolutely loved watching the guys and gals, the guys particularly, do the skeleton. It was so, so fun, but it's kind of made me think like, oh my God, I really, really want to try that. Not that I will probably ever get to try that, but yeah, I've really enjoyed watching the jump on television um, at the towards the end of January. So guys, that was all my favourites for January 2014. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and would like to see me continue to do favourites videos or if you'd like to see me review any of the products in more detail, leave a little comment below. Any details will be down in the description bar and also um, my links to follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well are down there. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!